Hey, hello everyone, welcome back to Song of Play Slay the Spire. So, someone reminded me that the sound, the in game sound, was kind of quiet. And that was from when I had a very shit microphone, and not a decent one I, like I'm using right now. And the game sound would sometimes overpower my voice, and I didn't actually like change it at all when I got this one I have right here. So I hope it's better now. Tell me if it's too loud or if I can actually make it even louder than game side. I hope it's fine. So I also missed last dailies, uh, yesterday's daily. We are a few hours into January the 10th, so we're gonna try to do this one then. 1500 for front page already. Oh my! Isn't this like the last one I did? It's sanity hoarder. No, I had something else. What did I have? Oh, I had Horder and we had Horder and um, Cursed. That was great. Insanity Horder is interesting. We start with a random deck of 50 cards and then Horder adds two additional copies. So three copies whenever we add something, which means any card we have at least one of, we can add three more to get the 25 points. So that's probably the way we're heading. Wait, I'm not looking at this right now. I'm looking at this in the first fight because I've learned that it's actually sorted that way, and we can see how many of each card we have. I see Wonderly here, second one here, or here. That's bit shit. Sorry about that. One, two, three, four question marks and two elites. It's a pretty poor first floor, so we have Spot Weakness, Twin Strike, Disarm, Flame, Barrier, Headbutt, and then we have these. Four Angers, eh? Like, one of is already good enough for all of these cards. As long as I have one of those cards, I'm gonna pick him. But I'm looking at... Like, there is... Some good cards, but all together, I'm like... I think Ironclad is the least, like... One... I can, I can have the least overpowered deck with the Insanity. We're gonna do twin strike, headbutt that back, and then this. Um, all the other classes, both of the other classes, like. Um, defect, of course, has. So I have Warcry, Combust, and Entrench. There's an Entrench, there's a Warcry, and I'm pretty sure I had Combust as well, right? Let me, let me finish. L looking for this and then I'll finish my thought. I guess not. Let's get Warcry right then. So the defect has Seek and, and innate cards and also the silent has lots more innate cards. I shouldn't have done that. It's fine. Killed one and we need four damage points for this one. There you go. And the Ironclad has less than 8 cards out of the cards, so we can feel no pain, reckless charge, havoc. I think I have none of these. Which would be interesting, but I remembered right. So I think. Havoc is fine, but it's not upgraded, that's the problem. Reckless charge can daze us. Let's get a feel no pain in here, and then reckless charge. So, I do like armaments, that means we have the armaments now. What is this? Havoc, Uppercut, Rupture, Discovery. Honestly, I think I have none of these again. Ravage, Uppercut, Rupture, Discovery. Welp. Havoc is good. I got the Feel No Pain, I guess I'm taking the Havoc now. Give me a curse, please. Spot weakness. Wait, I can have a put something on top with havoc. Play havoc, and then do I spot weakness? No, I'm just hitting him for twelve. Eighteen and eight is not enough. It's only twenty-six. But it's only taken for five, so this way we block everything. I 
That's 8 damage, that's actually not enough. So I'm upgrading the Warcry, trying to draw into something. I guess it's not happening. Just kill him like this. We regen of the burning blood. Anger, Body Slam, Hemokinesis. We have enough anger already, so it's Body Slam or Hemokinesis. Let's take Hemokinesis. Now the upgrades will land on armaments. I think that's the correct card to upgrade when you have that many cards. Because we can't make anything innate. If I could make something innate, that would be great as well. 18. Can probably kill someone. That's enough block. Guess we poked you on top then. And play it like this. We do not get enough block. No way for us to perfect this. We could fire potion here, but we still take damage. It's the problem. 18 and 14 is good enough to kill you. We will not be full life. Oh, who are we fighting against? Not the Hexa Ghost. Okay. Like this could have been a good idea with the Exegos. What is this? 15? No, I'll take the 12. Put the Carnage plus on top. And the Carnage will get the kill. Stealing 28. There you go. Three or less cards. Draw additional cards. I like it. You know what? Corruption seems to be very good here. The problem with Corruption is you, you run out of cards. But not like this. Wait, so we play like this. Havoc this, and then we can clash, clash, pommel strike. No. Maybe you should have fire potion then. But now let's save eight damage. We can we can survive easily on fifty HP like this. Iron wave, searing blow, true grit. I do believe yes, we have an iron wave. I'm not sure about the true grip. Bronze scales is good. It's also good against the boss. That was a bit sketchy. Probably shouldn't have lost that HP there. I wish I could use spot weakness here to get strength. That's powerful. No, I should have dual wielded that one. Then I could have played another Feel No Pain. We could gain 10 block for every card like this. No, 11 even. Uh, let's walk right, see what we get. He's weak forever, so we put this on top and then hit him for a lot of damage. Half life to be exact. That's powerful. Corruption gives us enough block easily. AT block. Okay. Yeah, that works. Yeah, corruption was a really good get. Rage, berserk, spot weakness. I saw a spot weakness there. More of these was great. So that gets a kill, that gets another kill. We can do one and we can do two. And then we need to deal 13 damage this turn. No. But... That's 9. There you go. Dropkick, Headbutt, Iron Wave. Iron Wave already got the 3. Dropkick or Headbutt? Did I have it? I know I have a Headbutt. Do I need Dropkick? I don't have another Dropkick, so I guess we'll take the Headbutt first. No curse still. Again, there's good cards here. Boots or boomerang would be interesting. Let's take flex, true grid. I'll take all of these. Just 
pile it in there. Truck. No corruption. Why? Why do you do this to me? We could have won this fight as soon as we played corruption, but instead we don't. Yeah, you know what? Let's make this fight easy. Oh, I had anger! I didn't see anger! Got him good. Uppercut Warcry Bloodletting. Uppercut seems like a decent one. I will upgrade the armament still. I, I kind of feel like I want to upgrade Corruption as well. This is actually very stupid. I should have attacked once. Yeah, because as you can see, we're getting damaged now. Unless we can... Maybe we can punch through with the fire potion? Yeah, we can. Vulnerability, carnage, fire potion. Or carnage. That's 26. 35. We don't even need the fire potion because of carnage. Now the question is... 39... Or 26, 35, yeah, okay. It's actually even more. Should have used anger first, as it turns out. Corruption upgrade costs two, right? So I can play armor amidst corruption. Hell yeah. No, f well, I do have a feel no pain active actually. Ah, let's play this. Ooh. Gonna take the other feel no pain. Feel like that helps us a lot. Look at the amount of block we're getting now. I guess I want uppercut on top. Now if we could get Juggernaut, oh god, this is great. Look, normally I'd be like, oh no, why would, why couldn't we get it, I could have attacked once. We had no block, but we still got all the block we needed. Uh, oh, headbutt is good. I'll keep the headbutt. He's attacking for raid, I have a few attacks. Can do this one. Or carnage, I guess. 21. Can do this one. Actually, I can actually kill him. Yeah, that was fair. Offering demon form immolate. Oh me, oh my. I want all three of these. And I'm pretty sure I got none of these already. I don't have any rare cards, right? I mean, not here where we already got the new ones. No, I don't. This is interesting. Demon form is great and game winning offering. Like, Immolate is really good on the second floor. Will not draw it very often. I'm taking offering over of demon form. You can no longer rest, but gain an energy. Yeah, we don't need to rest. I do hope so. I need an innate, like, bottled flame? No, lightning. Lightning is for the... No, storm. I need a bottled storm for the... Or lightning, whatever it is, to get to get a corruption innate. And then we win immediately. One, two elites. And then one of these two. Probably this one. Early shop. Didn't need the early shop, actually. Flex, combust, and then I can put one of you down. Uh, I'll take the clash, sure. 
Oh, and he's dead as well. No, he's the survivor not too. He's dead next turn to the combust. He's already dead. A single attack and he dies to the bronze scales. I said it already and I'll say it again. It's a great card. I think we put yeah, we got the armaments here. So I'll take the shrug it off. No bottle stuff. Double tap pummel heavy blade. We do have quite a few cards where rupture could actually work out. Oh, I can't buy a double tap. I wanted to buy that one though. More shrugs. Shrug is good without corruption and it's even better with corruption. No. I don't need 15 bytes, thank you very much. Get a colorless card. Panacea is not a good one. Any offering we play actually hurts us a lot, but we'll take damage either way, so I might as well do it. Okay. I don't need the ink, I guess. And then we armament spot weakness. And then we do some weakness spotting. Down to 55, we not even fought against an elite. I shouldn't pay more HP, we can't rest. Wait, I have a carnage. Just play the carnage and smack it up. Gambler's Brew is great, but I think a block potion is more... That's a good one. Book of Stabbing, eh? Now this is an interesting conundrum because I don't need that one right now. Which means I'm not gonna I'm not gonna use it. Though it would of course be great if we get a corruption here. Thank the gods. I can headbutt shrug it off back on uh, on top. Get that one with havoc. Oh me oh my. It seems like... No, it's exactly 18. Never mind, it's alright. Additional turn of weakness. Thunderclap, Pommel Strike, Spot Weakness, Clothesline. 15. Okay, I'm not playing Offering then. What weakness, flex, seeing red. Do I headbutt something on top before playing offering? Don't think so. Now this is very scary. I'd rather perfect this one. All these moose stones with potion lies. Thunderclaps, did I buy Thunderclaps at some point? Let me check this real quick. No, I didn't. I There was a seeing red somewhere in here, right? Yeah, one, and I just got three. Bludgeon is interesting, but uh, no thank you. We'll continue upgrading our armaments. I got all of these here. Oh, there you go. All this smooth stone. I kind of like all this smooth stone. I'm gonna get rid of the hourglass. Finding higher chance of finding rare card rewards seems good. Winged boot seems excellent. Wait, feel no pain, panacea, thunderclap, havoc in case it's an attack, it is an attack. So I had the vulnerability first. All I need is the innate corruption and I think we can do this.
one of them hit there. Beautiful. No damage taken. I guess the bird face urn helps us a lot here. Could have killed this one even. And there you go. Powerful stuff. Yeah. Power portion is probably right. Headbutt Iron Wave shrug it off. I'm pretty sure I took all of three of these. There's shrug it off. There's headbutt. There's iron wave. Guess I'm taking more shrug it offs. We'll stay on the path. Continue upgrading the armaments. Elite fight. Let's start with the shrug it off. That's good. Maybe I should have armaments that to draw five. Okay, nine. Oh, we need to block another 23. Six, 12. That's easily enough. So what I'm gonna do is armaments the entrench. And I take in four. Too much, so I have to play iron wave and entrench. That's two energy, I have two more energy. What I'm gonna do now is stack up on this and then block everything. Seven strength on the first turn is decent. Hopefully we'll be able to get kills now. If I armaments, dual wheel the thunderclap. If I can dual wheel the thunderclap, thunderclap twice is not strong enough. I'm gonna armaments once and draw a card. Let, let me... Seven, fourteen... Okay, another armaments is 24, and they're attacking me for 22. So that's good enough. Now, this sword boomerang has to hit here twice. That's not gonna happen. Rather block this. Now we are weak and vulnerable. This is a bad turn for us. Gotta start on this one. What is this? These two kill this one, and then another block here. We still won't get enough, right? That's three, and six, that's nine, that's eighteen. We can only block one of these. Oh god. Now if I get this one, still not gonna be enough. We get 27 block, we can till, kill that one. I... This might not be smart. Ooh. On the other hand, it might very well be smart. Because we can kill you with an iron wave. And then we can kill you for 18! No! Bastard! Yeah, I guess it's not happening. The body slam was upgraded, would have been very easy. Eggers are perfect, and I wasted a potion trying to get there. Darkstone Peribed is good. Power through is amazing for us. Now I still want... We're armamenting, we're doing this, we're doing this, and then, and then I guess that's a lot of damage on the Centurion, and he's not even getting healed, we might be able to kill him this turn. Yeah, we are. It's 35. We just do that, and that, and that. It's 36 even, oh, because it's getting upgraded. Seeing red, seeing red. Havoc, Warcry, put something on top, play there with Havoc, get a kill, seems decent, spot weakness, thunderclap, flex, which of these, there's a thunderclap there, we, so we have that one, flex and spot weakness, there's flex, we have all of these, his stuff again. Why am I still adding cards? I've already got four of them. That's an interesting question. Uh, 
I can't even lose a potion here, we just won't perfect this elite. Armaments. Anger, heavy blade, headbutt. I can get 12 block if I put armaments on top. Screw it. Just do another 14 damage. We'll have to rush him down. Oh, it gets exhausted, right? Right, right, right. Oh, he's smacking me hard. Please don't tell me that I'll die. Pommel Strike seeing Red Cleave. Now, Pommel Strike and Cleave are both cards. I'm not sure I took Pommel Strike there. Did I have one up here? Neither Pommel Strike, there's a Cleave there. No Pommel Strike though. So both of them will give me points and I prefer the Pommel Strike. One last armaments to upgrade. There you are. 34 HP. Now we have winged boots for the third floor. Oh goodness, okay. Start with this. Metallicize? Seems good. Start with this. Yeah, I'm gonna go fire breathing here on this one. Now, we need to draw something good here. Weakness? Might not be good enough. Please. 12. We have 9 block. And there is no way for me to get additional block. If I use Dexterity Potion from the beginning... No, I only got 1 block. Even the Dexterity Potion wouldn't have helped. That is pure sadness right there. Oh, that's a waste. That's a good one, because then I can play Pummel and Trench. Not really needed. Again, we lost the perfect already. You here, you here. I kinda don't want you. And then we just play everything else, I guess. Lots of attacks for the fire breathing. I like this. I like to draw a card. And then I like all of these attacks. Another point of damage taken. Listen here. We have three feel no pains now. I highly doubt it will take any more damage. And I feel the corruption coming in at some point. It has to happen. I guess not today. Vulnerable limb even more. We, we, we don't even need the corruption now. He's, he's just dead. I guess he's not dead yet. Gonna purge the debuffs. We have to deal 40 damage. Should be easy with the... Yeah. Turns out it is pretty easy. Didn't draw the corruption. Dark Embrace is interesting as well. Nine curses for me? We have our curse points now. Pain is unfortunate. Dead Branch is very interesting for us. Corruption Dead Branch might happen now. So I'm starting this way. Elite. And then I go elite, elite, finish. So I can jump over here, jump over here, 
I can actually jump from here over here and then I get so many question marks. Why do I get that many question marks? Not entirely sure. Since we don't really need to. I got nine curses already. No. Should be nine, right? Yeah. Why do I only have so little? I only got six for each. The Horder doesn't work with the Darksome Pariah. And we've won. As soon as we get corruption, the fight is just over. Look at me just playing all the cards. Like this, and then this, and then this, and then this. And then Thunderclap. Okay, I have to get a body slam at some point for all the marvels. I have enough anger, clothesline, and flex. I'm pretty sure I got enough flex as well. Yeah, so I'm taking the clothesline. Now I have enough clothesline as well. Pantograph and strawberry. Uh, what do I upgrade now? I have all the armaments upgraded. Do I want to upgrade the corruptions now so I get them more easily? Now, you know what? I'm gonna upgrade the offerings. Draw five, higher chance of drawing to corruption. Now, I want, probably want a shop at some point as well. One of these question marks will be a shop. Also, I don't think we can have... Oh, yes, we do. We, we, we can indeed have... We can have the bottles, cards in the shop where I want them. Oh, no. Let's not take any damage here. I'd much prefer taking the damage right here. Or not at all. Uppercut, wild strike, headbutt. Pretty sure I took the headbutt somewhere here. That was the card where I didn't have one earlier, right? Also, I think I bought clothesline at some point. Uh, headbutts. Any headbutts up here? There's a headbutt up there. I don't need the headbutt then. Uppercut, wild strike. I'm pretty sure I got an uppercut. There was somewhere in there. There's an uppercut. And did I have one up here? I'm only looking for the rare cards. No, that means uppercut is in the business. Yeah, better than the region potion for sure. There you go. Elite fight. That's very unfortunate. That's a bit better. 12. Fifteen. Oh god. Okay, that is enough block. No! What? I didn't see the decay. No perfect for us. Oh god. We're taking so much damage. So, you could say that me taking damage on the first turn is not that important now. Now put clothesline back on top. Havoc the clothesline. Headbutt. Something else back on top, I guess. Card draw. Havoc the card draw. Seeing red into a demon form and then get you. 
Okay, we already know. Oof. Fiend fire is beautiful. Oh, but. Here goes the offering. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's not enough to kill you. But we also redraw with that branch, so. Into a corruption? Into two corruptions? I can assume. We don't have an upgraded seeing red. That means we shouldn't have played Axiom here. Ah, but, I mean, getting the non-upgraded scene rate is also fine. Close, but not exactly what I want. I got close line already. Do I have a rupture? No, I don't. Ha! Huh. Don't have a bludgeon either, though. Do I? I had bludgeon in hand at some point, I probably got it off. Yeah, I guess I prefer a rupture over bludgeon so far. There's a shop. Carnage Sword Boomerang. There's another rupture. Another havoc. I have enough havocs already, but havoc is so good with that branch. I have flexes, I have. Do I have carnage and sword boomerang? There's sword boomerang there, and there was one up here, yeah, there we go. And then did I pick Kanj at some point? Let me check this. Ooh, fast scrolling. No Carnage as far as I can see. So I'll buy the Carnage. And then I'll buy the Havoc and pass. Bag of Marbles is beautiful. Going this way. This way, this way, that's one jump, it's jump number two, jump number three. Okay, toxic egg, a bit too late to get all the eggs now. Let's see what we're getting into. Okay. Try to kill that worm. He's still vulnerable this turn now because of the uppercut. That kills you. Doesn't kill you quite. Oh no, the sadness. Do I have a headbutt in here? I don't even have a headbutt down there, so I could headbutt the headbutt back and then get the corruption back. I'll just take damage. I guess I'll get the strength up and take 19 damage. Uh, whoop. Up. Should have thunderclap. Block here. Gonna play this that heals me for two and deals one damage. Another block. And then some damage. This time I thought about the decay. Play any powers before finishing him off. For some heals. I like the swift potion. I like the... Impervious? Havoc for zero is so good. Free Havoc. It's playing a card for free and drawing a card because of that branch. That's just amazing. Better than Impervious though. Probably not, let's be honest. God! No! If I didn't buy the Havocs at the end there, we had 
17 gold off. Can I sell something, please? <laughs> that would just mean we, we've won. If I picked up the tornado. We don't, though. Did we have an exhume here? No, I don't have the rare cards. Exhume is really, really... It's too, too strong. Now, in flame is also really good. And then... Go for the question mark here. I don't want three rives in here. Hell no. Rather have six madness in here. Now this is we're starting to be a bit low on HP. Actually combust is not helping. It heals us for two, but it takes one away immediately. Absolutely hilarious. And we go down to 20 something HP. This is starting to be... Less great. Ooh, that's a good one. And into an anger at the end. Now the combust is already a bad pick. Oh, come on. Don't do this to me. Oh, why? That's too late. And we're taking another one. Seven. You're making me very uncomfortable, Nemesis. 13. I can't heal though. And there's another elite. We'll perfect this elite. We have to. There is no other way. You know what? I'd rather have the weakness on him. Oh, we have a few turns to ramp up. There's no... No freaking block. No, wait, there's a chance for a block here. Because this exhaust, come on. No. <laughs> what are you doing, deck? Why is this happening to me? Give me corruption, please. This is interesting. I'm not gonna take combust this time. That's three turns in there. Two more turns left. Rupture is a good one. That healed us a bit at least. I think we're de dead here. He's starting to attack us. Maybe not. So you're saying there is a chance. Corruption, save me. Oh, I think corruption is going to save me actually. Oh, I'm pretty sure corruption is saving me right now. Do I want to berserk? We'll be vulnerable. That's... We still block everything. And we got him down to very little. Let's hope I don't die to this one. No, I don't. That's a power. No. 
never stop corruption. Never stop. That's another power, and then we hit you for 600 with the body slam. Offering is bad, but it's 25 points for us. And now... I guess get the Havoc. Okay, early corruption and I win the game. I'm gonna start with an offering. There's some good stuff here. They strengthen him though. I don't think I'll take the rupture. Let's walk cry, see what we get. I guess remove you. Oh! Thank you, Dead Branch! Yeah. No, wait. I don't have enough block. What? I actually face bumped there. My. Okay. I, I, this is this is the part where I, I pause a bit for introspection. How the hell did that happen? I was so in the in the zone like, oh, we got corruption. Any of my rupt uh, Any of my feel no pain. I, I, I mean, I got enough block anyway. Did you see that? I played so many cards that turn. And we, we cycled through a few cards with Corruption. I decided not to go all ham. The idea is that if, if this fight takes a long while, we might need to come back here. That, of course, was a mistake as well, because I have 160 cards in my deck. My whole, like... There was no reason for me to stop playing the... Power uh, the 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 skills there, and there was absolutely no reason or no way I shouldn't have seen that. That's just I think this might be the number one slot of worst play I've ever made in Slay the Spire. Thinking ah maybe that the fight will be long enough that we'll have to cycle through the deck and then we then we don't have any blocks left because I've I've exhausted all the skills. So maybe. I, Put a few skills still in there. We might also get him back with headbutt. That could be interesting. So there's some possibilities there. That, I, I mean, that thinking is bad. And then I don't even pay attention to what's happening. That's worse. So don't at me. This was the worst thing I've ever done in Slay the Spire. I can't believe that happened. Honestly, I'm still in shock. I mean, I'm not in shock, let's be honest, but... Put this one back on top. I'm gonna draw it. No, I'm not gonna draw it. Goodbye, everything. We're gonna recycle our hand. All of these in the bin. I see. Panacea, Shockwave, Warcry, tuck something back on top. Are oh, we going to draw it immediately? Oh, no, we're not drawing it. Keep it at that. I'm actually dying. <laughs> no! <laughs> I even removed the card. I even played the played the um, remove all non attacks, so I could try to get into Dead Branch. 
Can we collectively forget that this whole boss fight happened? Like, that was so horrendous. The worst thing I've ever seen. Somehow we're still 35 fifth position. If we beat that boss, that would be another 50 points. We'd be at almost front page. Very close to front page. And I mean, even that we didn't deserve. Let's be honest. I, do we even get 100 points for beating the boss? I'm not sure. Whatever. That was... Who? I have to... Oh my goodness. Might, might just throw my PC out of the window and then jump, jump afterwards. I hope you guys enjoyed that one though. I mean, I highly doubt that someone enjoyed the last five minutes of this daily, but before that I had a lot of fun. Horda is great. The corruption dead branch synergy with a 120 card deck so you can play it with abandon. It's great. That, that's always lots of fun. And as I said, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. I see you in the next episode. Let's just forget that this one actually happened at all.